Okay, I am interviewing my wife for the Master Cleanse documentary. And I thought I would ask her some questions about the Master Cleanse because she is the one that told me about it. And it's helped me so much. So, the first question is, how did you first hear about the Master Cleanse and about what year was it? Well, it was about in uh, about 2003 or around about there. I had an employee in my dental laboratory that would bring this uh, gallon jug full of this lemonade with maple syrup and cayenne pepper. And uh, many times he would ask me, you want to try this? And I would say, no way. And then he gave me, I guess probably one time I did try it. And I thought, you know, I was expecting cayenne pepper to be really bad, and I don't like pepper. I don't like hot peppers of any kind. But I tried some, and you know, it didn't taste all that bad. And I said, could you, could you do it without that much pepper in it? And he said, oh yeah, you can put as much as you want in. You can, you know, do it to taste. And then he gave me the book, um... You can grab it if you want. That book? Healing, healing in the Age of Enlightenment. Okay. And I read it, and it made a lot of sense. At, at, the, at that time, I had, uh, I had been trying to get my weight down. And there was just about ten more pounds I wanted to lose, and it wasn't... I wasn't making any headway, none at all. So I thought, you know, this this makes sense. You're, I already knew that that um, toxins were stored in your fat, mm -hmm. so detoxing would help release the toxins and the fat. So I thought, well, I'd give it a try. The first time I tried it, I think. Um, I think I went three days, and then I'm just in the habit of putting food in my mouth. <laughs> and I was not thinking about what I was doing, and all of a sudden I was chowing down on something. I said, okay, well, that broke that. So I started out the next day again, and that time I was, you know, I, I was a little more aware of this habit that I have of just popping food in my mouth and not thinking about it. <laughs> so I I started seriously on the Master Cleanse diet. Now, not only did I um, have a laboratory, I also worked uh, teaching four exercise classes. And at the end of those four exercise classes, I was always so fatigued that about the only thing I could do was go home and take a nap. Right. I tried, I tried so many different things to get over that fatigue hump. You know, I would eat a banana uh, somewhere between the classes, or I would eat this or that, or I would have um, juice or something, and. Nothing, nothing helped. Uh, at, the, at the end of those four classes, I was just, I was completely wiped out. I just had no more energy. So I started taking the, using the Master Cleanse, and I have all this energy. I mean, I was still working out at the same, you know, I was teaching the same classes, the same length of time. But at the end of the day, it was like, hey, I'm good to go. I can still, I can still do something. I am not to the point where I have no energy left. So, um, next question. So what is the longest that you've ever stayed on the Master Cleanse? Do you remember? I think it was about 47 days. Wow. The reason that I stayed on it was because I wanted to do the liver flush after it, and I wanted to make sure that that happened on a weekend. So I had to continue the 
the Master Cleanse fasting period until I got to a weekend. Okay, cool. And it was it was no problem. Right. It was no problem. I felt fantastic. Okay. So what um what ailment has the Master Cleanse helped you with, and how did it help? Well, almost every injury that I had had in the past, some at some time during the cleanse, I would feel the pain over again. But it would, it, instead of being, you know, like when I had cracked ribs or something, and it took three weeks to for them to heal, on the master cleanse, it probably, I, it was probably like three days or something wow. that I would feel it. But not the same, not the same intensity of pain, but I could feel the same sight. Um, also, my eczema uh, went away. And, well, the fatigue. I mean, I, I had a lot of problems with fatigue. And that went away. And I, I decided right then, I am never going to stop drinking this lemonade. <laughs> I have I have continued to drink it. I don't I don't fast with it all the time, but I still continue to drink the lemonade because of it's it's the best thing since water. <laughs> okay, next question. Um, when you're on the master cleanse, how do you feel? Um, clear headed, energetic. Brilliant. <laughs> I mean, it, it seems like, like your your brain is really working like it's supposed to. Right. And um, um, confident. You just feel, your body knows that it's doing something good. Right. And and what about um, spiritually speaking? When you're cleansing, do you like do you liken it to fasting? Oh yeah, right. yeah. Because uh, to get over the the point, like I said, I I've, I've got this habit of picking food up and putting it in my mouth, and uh, instead of feeding on food, I would feed on the Word of God. Um, you know, in the, I would think of the, of the verse that says, "Taste and see that the Lord is good," instead of looking for some some taste to put in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I would. Uh, there were other things that I did for taste. Um, different um, herb teas were good because you know you like a little variety, right. and also I would drink some um, bouillon. Uh, once Just regular while. bouillon with the bouillon cubes, like chicken bouillon cubes, or I used I used a powder actually. Okay. okay. And and not chicken, but vegetable. Right. Vegetable bouillon. Good, good. Okay, last question for now. Um, so you ever have you ever had any really bad days while on the master cleanse, like headaches or anything like that? Even some of the first times uh, you did it, do you remember? No. Because I had already started, um, I had already started on a on a plant based diet. So my and I was um, using uh, Garden of Life Perfect Food, and that had started the detox process. So I didn't have a lot of um, detoxing to do. It was just the uh, the length of time and the intensity of, of the detox process that was in, uh, it was intensified. Okay, great. And would you mind reading for us? I don't I don't think I don't think I've had a bad day since I did the master plan. Wow, that's great. Well, it is great. That's um, why I told you um, about it. I know, and. I have to get it. I have to get on camera now because um, 
let's see. This is where I just read all the beginning, and I start here at chapter one, the master cleanser, and you can start there. But she told me about it, and for a long time, I just didn't, I didn't think it was something I wanted to do. And then she got mad one day finally, and she said, "Why don't you just trust me and do it?" And I was like, "Okay." And I kind of did it just to kind of prove her wrong, but it worked, and yeah. I felt so good once I got through the little bit of detoxing because I still drank coffee and, and teas and a lot of things with caffeine. And that's where you get that caffeine headache, they call it. So um, I had to just trust her and do it. But I'm going to let her read for us for a little bit, and then we'll talk to you later. Well, I just want to say that, that the employee that I had that introduced me to the Master Cleanse, uh, had he kind of bugged me, too, about why don't you just try it? Why don't First of all, it was, why don't you just try tasting it? Why don't you ha take a drink of this and see what it, what you think? Uh, this is chapter one, the master cleanser. And master, <laughs> we, we know who the master is. Right. For the novice and the advanced student alike, cleansing is basic for the elimination of every kind of disease. The purpose of this book is to simplify the cause and the correction of all disorders, regardless of the names, names or name. As we eliminate and correct one disease, we correct them all. For every disease is corrected by the same process of cleansing and building positive good health. Man's mastery of disease will only be final when ignorance and fear are overcome by proper observance of all laws pertaining to the creation of bones, flesh, and blood. Through eons past and on, even into the present, man has been held and still remains in bondage of misery and suffering, while witchcraft and quackery, whether licensed or not, have run the gamut of the healing field of misinformation. At last, the basic cause of disease is no longer a mystery. The basic cause is the habits of improper diet, inadequate exercise, negative mental attitudes, and lack of spiritual attunement, which combine to produce toxic conditions and malfunctions of our body. The elimination of the cause of illness is the obvious and only way to healing and health. The elimination of the habits that cause illness is done through the positive approach of developing proper habits that cause health combined with corrective techniques that remove the ill effects of our former incorrect ways. A group of simple, simple and automatic laws of the master plan for creative living have given the sufferer his answer and release from his various forms of disease. Oh, I should mention, too, that I uh, later, after... Oh, this employee left, and I had another employee. I had one that that was um, a diabetic, and uh, there is in in the book uh, simple instructions for the diabetic, and I let him read about it, and he tried it, and was no longer diabetic. No wow. longer had to take insulin, and so you know wow. it's it's a uh, wonderful thing. Right. These laws pertaining to the construction and reconstruction of a more perfect body are unlimited within the universal plan for man. Though we have seen and felt the action of these laws as they automatically create and recreate in our many phases of living, we have discovered and used them knowingly only in limited amounts. As we work knowingly with these laws, we find a very simple answer to our many aches, pains, and disorders. To most of the, us, these laws have been replaced with the laws of kill, kill of cure, with the many devastating practices and miracle poisons. We know that, that all drugs have negative side effects. Yes. It's only nature and natural Um, remedies that work. 
These truths are self-evident as we look into the history of our diseases and see our failures in our constant search for release. If these records are not enough to let him go on and on with his never-ending aches and pains until his sufferings have finally created a desire for knowing these many truths. And so many people don't know the truth. I mean, this, this the Master Cleanse has been around for possibly 80 yeah. to 100 years. And yeah. yet so uh, few, few people know about it. When, when did that book come out? What is the copyright on that book? Because that's one of the older ones. I should say in the beginning there, somewhere. Hmm. 1976. Wow. So the bicentennial year, that book came out. And I'm going to have to do some research to see how much it has sold through the years. And how many copies were printed and stuff like that. But that's amazing. You know, but go ahead and read it until the next paragraph ends. And then we'll, then we'll close it for this session. I forgot where I was. <laughs> okay. When we finally become sick of being sick, hmm. then we are ready to learn the truth. And the truth shall set us free. Somebody else said that. Yeah. This diet will prove that no one needs to live with his diseases. Lifetime freedom from disease can become a reality. To be complete, a healing system must be able to cover the entire field of human experience, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Any system which denies any part of this trinity fails in its attempt to heal to the same extent to which it denies any part or parts. We realize that many psychological, mental, and social stresses can and do cause tensions which can aggravate our problems, but they do not cause our condition. However, the above tensions can and do encourage us to eat to excess, both good and bad foods, mostly bad, which in turn creates our large variety of diseases. But I, I, I truly believe that, that tension uh, and stresses cause the body to uh, create toxins in themselves. So if, if you can dis de-stress. Helps considerably, yes. Yes, it, it helps considerably. This says the following program has been tested and approved since 1940. Wow. In all sections of the world, as the most successful of any diet of its type. Nothing can compare with its positive approach toward perfection in the cleansing and healing field. Nothing can compare with its rapidity and completeness. It is superior in every way as, redu as a reducing and body conditioning diet. As the originator of this superior diet, I humbly and yet proudly offer it to you confident that you will receive vigorous good health from its use. Okay. And for reading for us, you get a step of Master Cleanse. Uh, and you can see the Master. Hold it, hold it up like a little closer to yeah. the camera. and. Like I said, um, this employee would come in with a gallon jug of this and he would drink it throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's such a simple recipe. You know, and we put we put lemons and limes in ours most of the time, so I think it, it gives it a little different flavor than just lemons. It's good stuff. I know, right? And we might delicious. Well, while we're here, we might well introduce our dog, Angel, yeah, to our our viewing audience. He's probably going to want to kiss. So you want to kiss me? Let me kiss. No, no. No kisses yet. Okay. Angel got to say hi. She's tired. She got to run in the park. She got to run in the park. So, okay. Angel got some camera time. Yeah. And we'll have to pay her for it. So, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Deb, for your insight. Oh, you're and, very welcome. And we will be back to talk about it more.